What's up everyone, we're back for another Live Cop episode. This time we've got the Supreme Air Force One restock and we've got the Yeezy 350 Naturals. Let's see how we did. All right, good morning everybody. We are ready to rock and roll for the Supreme supposed Air Force One restock. So I have everything ready to go. I've got all of my, I've got Mech, Open, Cyber, and Kodai. Kodai's actually got auto click on this time, which I messed up last time. So hopefully that um, doesn't, <laughs> it auto clicks for me, that'd be cool. And then I've got my cyber capture windows and I've got all of my mech stuff down here. So I really wanna hit at least one and have at least one ship because I've actually never hit on the Supreme Air Forces before. So I hope we hit at least one, it'd be kind of cool just to be able to get one in person. Um, but I'm gonna start starting mech. All right, here we go, baby. 10 seconds out, I hope we can hit at least one. Um, oh, it's already been found. Okay, all right. Come on, come on, baby, come on, come on, come on. Did Mech not even find it? What is going on with Mech, dude? Um, um, mountains, jeez, this is crazy. I don't even know if we gotta check out. <laughs> oh boy, sorry, uh, chimneys. Dude, what happened to Mech, bro? I mean, payment, there's no way, dude. There's no way. Dude, what happened to Mech? Oh, man, I put the wrong category. Impossible, dude. Oh, that sucks, dude. Damn, damn, the wrong category, dude. That'll do it to you. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't picking up. I was like, what's going on, bro? There's no way, like, didn't make any sense. Oh, man, I think I did that to myself last time right, for the Supreme Air Forces. Well, I guess that's it, so. <laughs> I'll let the bots run for a little longer. I don't think they're gonna hit, but the inevitable, impossible to get Air Force One. All right, good morning, everyone. We are setting up for foot site releases for the Yeezy Naturals. I've got everything set up. I set up last night. Um, it's 6.56 a.m. So I think I finished setting up by like two o'clock. So I'm definitely running on some low sleep, but Cyber just pushed an update for the Data Dome change that the foot sites did so we'll see if that actually does anything and i don't know if kodai's hotfix implemented that as well and i didn't see anything from ganesh so we've got everything ready to rock and roll for nsb as well so we'll see how it goes in about three minutes oh here we go here we go adding to cart let's see if we start getting some checkouts bam baby cyber pulling through already let's go what size i don't know care to check i guess Dude, and I got one immediately with Cyber. When I got an email from Champ, so that's at least good. Weird, dude, prices just aren't doing that good. $19 million for a size 70. Uh, well, um, I have no idea really what happened for this release, so. <laughs> we hit one? I don't know how. Oh, here's a captcha, I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what happened, so. Uh, we hit one though, so I guess that's cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's kind of it. Um, we'll see what happens with the shop of our releases, but I, I'll just let it run and see if we get any other hits. But we'll see what happens with the shop of our releases. All right, so we're here for the Undefeated drop at eight o'clock, so have about 10 seconds. Uh, I am running foot sites in the background now. I made the mistake that I didn't know foot sites were actually not charging the shipping that they usually charge for the stupid, um, oh boy, here we go, hurry, hold on. Give me the captcha, bro, come on, man. Uh, oh my gosh, dude. Come on, dude, that's not, there's no way, dude. <sighs> Let me click it, man. Why is it getting so fried? Waiting for a restart. No way, dude, how? Oh man, this was not a, um, good managing of bots because <laughs> I did not run my stuff good. Oh, that's it front of the head. Yeah. All right, well, we'll be back, I guess, at 
Nine o'clock for easy supply. I'm gonna try uh, not to run as much stuff, so maybe that was the problem, but. All right, we'll be back at 9 a.m. for easy supply, and I think some other Shopify sites, so we'll be ready for that. All right, what is up everybody? We're back for Yeezy Supply. I'm only running bay sizes. Uh, the sale just started, so I started all my tasks on Splash Force. Hopefully we have the magic going on. I didn't check the Discord, but we'll see what happens with Splash Force. And then I'm running for some restocks on the Yeezys um, on foot sites because I didn't know that they weren't gonna charge the shipping. So they did on Carbons where it was like 241 for me after shipping and tax. But for these, it was actually only 233. So I decided to like run for a couple more and see, you know, if it was, if I could get some and, and you know, see, see how it went. So we'll see how it goes. Um, looks like Splash Force isn't doing anything. So man, uh, tough drop, but that's all right. Um, we learn and we move on. So we'll see how this goes. I didn't go for any of the Shopify sites at nine o'clock. Um, I just didn't really care to try that hard for them. And for the 10 o'clock sites, I might not as well, just because I'd rather wait and save up for mochas, just because this drop is profitable, but not as profitable. And I don't have as many people that are interested in buying these. So we'll see how Splash Force does, if it does anything, if it can even get past fetching sites. So we'll see what happens and we'll probably just come back when a checkout starts happening or something goes on. So we'll see. Oh, we just hit one on East Bay for Cyber, so. <laughs> Not on Splash Force, but we hit one on Cyber, so that's cool. I am running any size on the uh, other three bots on Ganesh, Kodai, and Cyber, so there's one on Kodai. <laughs> um, so whatever hits is cool. I think maybe once I hit like 20 or so, I'll probably stop. I don't know how many I'm at right now. I think close to that, so I'm definitely going to pay attention to that. Iwan is saying to start tasks, but nothing is working for me, so. I don't know what I don't know what it is with Splash Force. I just don't have good luck. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Now we're getting some waiting in Splash. Okay, cool, cool, cool. JavaScript error. That's not good. It's definitely not good. It's what is going on, dude? I swear, man. I I just don't know why Splash Force doesn't work for me. I wish I sold it honestly at the when it was like eighteen hundred dollars. But you win some, you lose some. Let's try Code I out. Let's see. Oh, well, we got one size 10 on East Bay, sure. Let's let's give Kodai a, a shot. Let's let's give it a shot, why not? So the reason I usually don't run Easy Supply on Kodai is because it always crashes, at least for me, because I'm running so much at one time. So I usually don't, but I want to give it a shot and see if it'll load, but yeah, see, this is why, like, I think because I'm running foot sites and Easy Supply at the same time, it's not gonna be able to handle it. Looks like Splash Force is starting to wait to Splash for a good amount of tasks, so. All right, six and a half. Manually, nice. It's just crazy that I'm able to pass Splash before I can pass, like I pass the Splash page on, you know, Safari faster than I do it on Yeezy, I mean, on uh, Splash Force, like, that don't make any sense. Basically what I'm trying to do on Splash Force now is just maximize how as many tasks as I can run before the bot explodes in hopes that it does something. I mean, if I can't hit one on, on Splash Force with 9,501 tasks, come on, right? Like, I was able to do that manually. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby, carding product. Let's go, let's go, come on. What do you mean we need to capture that? What do you mean, bro? What? Failed to add to cart. No way, dude. 15,000 tasks. Let's do it. I'm just curious to see like, at what point will we blow up Splash Force? Like, can it even handle 15,000 tasks? Well, 9,501 tasks. We up it to 15,000. And I don't even think it got through Splash. <laughs> Bro, that is crazy. Well, that's probably it for today, I think. I don't know what else releases at 10 o'clock. I'll double check, but if that's it, then that's the end of the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> into this live cop. Woo. We'll be back, I guess, Mocha's next weekend and 
whatever we can hit throughout the week. So man, tough drop, I guess. What's up you guys? I hope you enjoyed the live cop video. I did get a couple pieces for unboxing that I can show you. As for the live cop video, we did hit about 20 pairs of Yeezy Naturals in the men's sizes that should be coming in, I think tomorrow or Thursday. So those will probably be in the next live cop video for you guys to see. I, I went really hard for the base sizes and I didn't hit that many. So I figured I'd go for some men's sizes just to see, you know, get some pairs in to show you guys. And I have some local buyers that will probably buy a couple of them. If anything, I don't mind selling them for the small loss that I might take on StockX just to have practiced running for mochas. So it was still a good drop to go for. And that's why I went for it. Okay, so we got one of the Travis Scott McDonald's collection shirts. This is the one where it says just Cactus Jack and the McDonald's. I don't know, I figured when this dropped, like I would get it and maybe I'd be able to sell it for a little bit of a resale price or whatever, but I have somebody that I know that really wants it. So I might just throw it to them for retail. I also got a couple of the Jordan Union collab pieces. So this is one of the pair of pants and this is the coach's jacket. I have some people that might want these, but I mainly got these just for like, small flips on StockX, maybe like make 20 bucks on each. So nothing crazy on these, but it was cool to get them in hand. And the other thing that I got, I couldn't help myself, but I got the Union Jordan 4s. Yes, I paid resale price for these, but I really didn't like these at first and I think they're super cool. I mean, the box is awesome. The paper inside is cool. Let me go ahead and open them up. I mean, like every detail is super cool. I just think it's a really dope shoe. I mean, I couldn't help it. Like the hype is so, crazy so I kind of fell into the hype but there it is in, inside let me pull it out and show you guys all right so we've got a size 10 and a half here in the black the noir or noir, I don't know how to say that uh, black colorway so I, I don't know I, I, again I didn't really like this shoe when it first like the pictures first came out I thought it kind of looked like a bootleg or something but man like I just kept seeing pictures of it and people wearing them and stuff and it just it kind of grew on me so I figured I'd buy a pair before they go up in price I uh, something that you guys can take this for how you think. I think these are gonna be anywhere from a thousand to $1,500 by middle of next year. So if I had a lot of capital, I'd probably just buy every single pair I could for like 700 bucks and hang on to them. That's what I paid for this pair. And I felt like that was not too bad because even if I wear them, I could probably still sell them at some point and make my money back. I do have the guavas coming as well, but I don't have them yet. They were supposed to come today. Unfortunately, I think they're gonna to come tomorrow, but I did get the guavas as well in a size 10, so I have a set for myself, but really hyped to try these out. I don't know if I'm gonna wear the orange laces. I think the orange laces are pretty cool. Like that's definitely uh, something different, but I don't know, I feel like uh, the black is kind of just nice and subtle and, and you know, good to wear. I might wear the orange on the guavas because I think that'll be like a super cool like splash of color. But yeah, the Union Jordan 4, super cool shoes. So hyped to have these. That's it for this episode. I do want to say a quick life update. I am getting out of this cast that I have on my foot soon. So I think my crazy hair days will be over and my little limited of being able to sell and you know pick up my shoes as easily will go away. So I hope that that helps make the live cops a little bit more entertaining because I'll be able to actually post videos of like the unboxing because a lot easier there's sometimes where i haven't been as mobile so a shoe comes in i, I don't really have a chance to record it but i got to get it shipped out because it's sold so hopefully with me being uh, back on my feet it'll be a little easier for me to record the videos and have all those unboxings for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be back for the mocha ones i'm so hyped and ready for that and we'll be ready for those coming out this weekend